to keyword financial for cryptocurrency education and their latest projects. Visit our site at keywordfinancial.com. Today we are going to discuss the Pi Network. But before we dive into Pi, we should break down the basis of crypto for those new to the channel. Crypto or cryptocurrency is a digital asset. It uses cryptography, hence the shortened name crypto, to regulate how the currency is created, how the digital currency is traded, and its level of security. Most beginners who enter into the crypto sphere wonder why there are so many people interested in this digital currency. Well, here is what makes crypto so glamorous. Cryptocurrency doesn't use or need a central bank, including your government to control or manage them. Currently, our everyday financial transactions rely upon a trusted third party to maintain a record of transactions. For example, when you do a bank transaction, the banking system keeps a record and guarantees that the transaction is safe and reliable. Let's create a scenario using some made up people. We'll name them Cindy and Steve. When Cindy transfers $5 to Steve using PayPal, PayPal maintains a central record of $5 debited from Cindy's account and $5 credited to Steve's. Intermediaries like banks, PayPal, and other members of the current economic system play an important role in regulating the world's financial transactions. However, the role of these trusted intermediaries also has limitations. 1. Unfair value capture. These intermediaries amass billions of dollars in wealth creation like PayPal, whose market cap is $130 billion, but pass virtually nothing onto their customers. The everyday people on the ground, whose money drives a meaningful proportion of the global economy, leaving more and more people falling behind. 2. Transaction fees. Banks and companies charge large fees for facilitating transactions. These fees often disproportionately impact lower income populations who have the fewest alternatives. Number three, censorship. If a particular trusted intermediary decides that you should not be able to move your assets, it can place restrictions on the movement of your money. Four, permission. The trusted intermediary serves as a gatekeeper who can arbitrarily prevent anybody from being part of the network. And five, pseudonymous and the control of your privacy. At a time when the topic of your privacy or the control of your privacy is demanded with great urgency, these powerful gatekeepers can accidentally disclose or force you to disclose more financial information about yourself than you may want. Because of these facts, it necessitated the birth of Bitcoin. Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency created by a person or persons using the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto. Bitcoin was first outlined in October 2008 in a white paper calling the concept a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. The Bitcoin blockchain, the network which Bitcoin runs on, launched in January 2009. For the first time in history, people could securely exchange value without requiring a third party or trusted intermediary. Paying in Bitcoin meant that people like Steve and Cindy could pay each other directly, bypassing institutional fees, obstructions, and intrusions. Bitcoin was truly a currency without boundaries, powering and connecting a new global economy. Nowadays, there are numerous other blockchains and over 20,000 crypto projects. If this is your first time hearing this, sudden information may lead you to wonder, how does crypto benefit us? In addition to decentralization, Bitcoin, or cryptocurrencies in general, share a few nice properties that make money smarter and safer. Although different cryptocurrencies may be stronger in some properties and weaker in others based on different implementations of their protocols. Bitcoin and alternative coins came into our lives proposing solutions for the wide population throughout the world who had enough of the abusive practices and hostile relationships we were forced to endure when dealing with centralized financial institutions. Saying that the world was disappointed by the methods that the current banking system uses would be putting it lightly. Crypto facilitates payment processes that allow people to pay each other or directly surpassing the limitations forced by intermediaries such as banks. Bitcoin became very popular over the last decade and as a result the value of cryptocurrencies have increased rapidly. Cryptocurrencies are censorship resistant due to their decentralized foundation. Anyone can submit transactions to any computer in the network to get recorded and validated. Cryptocurrency transactions are immutable because each block of transactions represents a cryptographic proof, a hash of all the previous blocks that existed before that. Once someone sends you money, they cannot steal back their payment. Meaning, 
you cannot stop payment on a check, float a payment, or bounce a check in a blockchain transaction. The whole cryptocurrency and blockchain theory is an amazing idea that will bring a lot of changes to the current financial structure and financial scenery. Despite its benefits, this enormous boost in price led to the concentration of money and power for the people inside the Bitcoin ecosystem. This leads us to our topic of today, the Pi Network. What is Pi? Pi Network is founded by Dr. Nicholas Kakalis and Dr. Shinda Fawn. These are two Stanford grads who have doctorates in computational engineering and social science. Dr. Kakalis, in addition to developing and founding several startups like Human Center Technologies in the past, teaches a computer science class on decentralized applications on blockchain at Stanford. Dr. Fawn, receiving her PhD in computational anthropology, she also worked as a founding developer of several startups and projects around scaling social communications and surfacing and tapped social capital for people everywhere. Pi Network is a new cryptocurrency and developer platform that allows mobile users to mine Pi coins without draining the device's battery, thus reducing its environmental impact, and also fosters the world's most accessible and ubiquitous application platforms where developers can offer users real-life utilities and products in exchange for Pi coins. The Pi Network is a digital currency platform created for the mining of Pi coins. This digital platform enables users to mine coins using a mobile application available on the Google Play Store or Apple App Store, becoming accessible to a wide range of users. In contrast to first-generation cryptocurrencies, which is sometimes falsely reported as a massive energy consumer, the Pi app is needed in order to complete the mining process. The Pi network offers a more user and planet-friendly alternative. The Pi Network is designed to be a revolutionary decentralized network in which its currency is mined on smartphones rather than energy-intensive application-specific integrated circuits or graphic processing units. An application-specific integrated circuit miner is a computerized device or hardware that uses application-specific integrated circuits for the sole purpose of mining cryptocurrencies. The purpose of the graphics processing units is to support repetitive tasks like rendering scenes that have high demands. The graphics processing units are the most common method of mining cryptocurrencies in comparison to application-specific integrated circuits or low-end CPU miners. The Pi Network differs from many other cryptocurrencies in that it employs a proprietary mechanism known as the Stellar Consensus Protocol, which enables users to receive benefits for their participation in the network. The Stellar Consensus Protocol, also known as SCP, was first described in a white paper as a federated Byzantine agreement system that allows decentralized, leaderless computing networks efficiently to reach a consensus outcome on some decision. The Stellar Payment Network uses the Stellar Consensus Protocol to provide a consistent view of the network's transaction history to all participants. The Pi ecosystem is built on the federated Byzantine agreement technique, or FBA, the FBA enables a set of computers to reach an agreement without needing a central authority. That's right. No banks, no government, and no big brother robbing you. The Federated Byzantine Agreement is a consensus mechanism used in blockchain systems to ensure the reliability and consistency of data across a decentralized network of nodes. The FBA extends the traditional Byzantine fault tolerance consensus algorithm to handle situations where nodes in the network may not fully trust one another. The FBA allows nodes in the network to reach consensus despite the presence of Byzantine failures, where some nodes may behave maliciously or incorrectly. This makes FBA well-suited for decentralized systems where participants may have different levels of trust or incentives. Now, back to the Pi Network application. The Pi project promises to be environmentally sustainable, which might help attract climate-conscious investors. It may be especially effective since the crypto market has often been reprimanded for its substantial energy consumption due to energy-intensive procedures like proof-of-work consensus protocols, which some people believe harms the environment. To participate, users only have to download the Pi Network application onto their phone. The Pi Network app is used to mine Pi, and the mining procedure needs users to hit a button on their phone every 24 hours. Pi mining is technically not crypto mining since no mining is taking place. Users are not confirming transactions at this time, at least not yet. Individuals get Pi tokens for accessing the application once per day and demonstrating that they are not a robot. 
The Pi platform is based on the creation of a community of Pi coin miners where a person could become a member exclusively by invitation, that is, by receiving a referral code. Community members receive reward in the form of new Pi coins for each direct referral. Once you have registered and become a member of the community, you need to click on the Earn Pi button once a day and start collecting Pi coins. Activities of newly invited members don't have any effect on the original users. The more users Pi Network has, the value of the coin rises. Pi tokens will be bought and sold on the market and eventually will not be able to be mined for free. This is why it is important to mine Pi early, because soon users will not be able to mine Pi. Some speculate that Pi will be one of the top cryptocurrencies in the world once the mass adoption of blockchain technology occurs. Remember, simplicity and transparency are some of the developer's main goals. Hence, Pi is available both as a Pi app and as a Pi browser. The network is gaining widespread adoption in the crypto space. The Pi network allows users to easily earn cryptocurrency by participating in its unique mining process. All you need is a mobile phone and an internet connection. While the mining process does consume some of your phone's battery life, it's not nearly as intensive as Bitcoin's mining. This concludes our overview of the Pi network. Remember users must be invited in order to participate. Look in the pinned comments for the invite link and invite code. If you like material like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, Keyword Financial is live. Visit our website for the latest crypto projects and overviews. Thanks again and keep an eye out for our next video.